hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talk video so on today's video guys i'm going to show you guys how to convert your main video um a landscape video to a portrait video this is actually a white video recorded and this is actually a portrait video now um the difference is i recorded it on pc I recorded both of them on the mobile, but um, I made use of landscape for the other one and then portrait for the other one. So, um, but if you recorded your videos on PC, it's also going to be this way. Now, let me show you guys what I mean. This is the video I recorded right here. This is the video. So once you have the video, to convert this video to a short size video on your video editor, all you need to do, um, all I usually do is I take a screenshot and then I come over to... Um, I took a screenshot and I go over to the screenshot area and then I edit the size of the screenshot. This is the screenshot I took and this is the um, screenshot I edited. So I edited the size of the screenshot and then I edited it into this particular size, um, nine, um, 1080 by um, 1920. So this is actually the exact size I use. But every size on this particular video is actually um, a screen size. This is actually what I research and you guys can make use of any of them and see how they look. So um, if you have a video editor, go ahead and start with it. You do not need to wait for me to complete this video. All you need to do is to go over to your video editor and then crop out the image and make use of that particular um, screen size. But on this particular video, I'm actually making use of... Um, cyberlink video power um power uh, director so you can notice the name on the screen right there so they actually have a particular feature for your screen size and the perfect screen size for um mobile device is actually 19 ratio 16 and there are other ones right there but i'm actually going to choose the 19 ratio 16 because i want to make video for a mobile version or for a mobile device now the reason is because um, YouTube Shorts was actually formally created, originally created for mobile device, but um, I'm actually going to be making use of this feature, uh, making use of your laptop to record your video, and then after recording your video, you probably want to convert that to Shorts and upload the Shorts, and because Shorts gives you more view. So go ahead and import the image you edited and also the original picture. Now, the reason why I actually edited that image is so that it's actually going to give us a very unique look. But if not, you can just um, go ahead and use the video because the size is already there. You can notice on the screen, the size is already there. So, um, but I actually like to make use of this particular feature because it actually make, um, it makes the video look a bit better or a bit um, more cool instead of having a black background behind because if you're actually making use of the previous settings or the original settings after um, choosing the size of the video and then importing the video it's just going to, to make the video look um, a bit empty so the back is going to be pure black background and then everything so what i usually do is um i bring my image first into the timeline put it on the second area so that the image is going to be behind and the video will be in front and the next thing i actually like to blow out my image so i click on this fs effect and then go to styles and then go ahead and search for blow so i search for the effect called blow not blue is actually a mistake a typo so um select that and then drag it over to your background image which is actually now blood the image a little bit now i'm going to go over to the video area and then bring in the main video and then when i bring in the main video i'm going to leave it on the first timeline which is actually right here so bring it and then leave it there and it's going to be there and everything is going to look sharp oh, for some reason this did not select i have to bring it down again and um, this is the video and you can notice on the preview section how it's been previewed the video is in the middle and then the main background is right there let me go ahead and move this timeline in the middle so that you see how it look this is how it look and if i play it you can notice it plays smoothly so this is actually how I, I like to do my video and guys do not forget to actually pay attention to the timeline make sure that the video doesn't exceed one minute or 50 seconds i like 50 seconds so go ahead and cut out where you think is actually exceeding 50 seconds and then export your video this is all i want to show you guys on today's video and if you have any question regarding this leave it on the comment section if there is any issue also leave it on the comment section guys i will see you on my next video please stay safe and peace